and welcome to another scratch tutorial today we're going to be making a simple game where you shoot at targets so let's get started all right so let's draw our little turret so let's convert it to bitmap it I, I really like pixels for some reason pixelized pixelated whatever um All right. Um actually that that that's good. Okay. So now we have our turret. Um so first let's have it go to 0 0. You don't you can actually do it right here. Um then it automatically goes there. I, I like it better because you don't have to get a block. Let's put one there anyway, but now that it's already at the position, it will go there. Then get a repeat forever function. And then point towards mouse pointer. Now we have a little turret that you can aim around. And that's pretty much all we ne we'll need to do for that part. Now let's make um, a projectile of some kind. You can make it whatever color or anything you want. But I am going to make it red, bitmap. I'm actually going to make this size two. All right, so um, now let's say on flag, hide. So it'll start out disappeared because the base one you don't want to see. Um, and then repeat forever. And then get an if statement. Um, and then if the mouse is and then if the mouse is down, um, create a clone of itself. And then put a delay function in there. Let's say zero point. 0 0.06. That's what I like for very fast firing of projectiles. You, If you make that number bigger, your fire rate will go down. Um, if you make it zero, well, if you remove this block, it, it might lag if you have other things cloning or if you have a slow computer. So um, for the when I start this clone, um, first, we want it to go to sprite one, which is our turret. So go to sprite one, then point in direction. Sorry, um, point in direction, then go to sensing. Find the one that says, find the block under sensing that says um, backdrop number of stage, drag that on there. Replace stage with sprite one and replace the X position, which is the default with direction. So it will point in the direction. Now I want it to show up because if the properties aren't changed in the cloning thing from the original one, it's hidden here. So it will, it will be hidden here. Like if, if you have this on a certain costume and clone it, then down here it will be on the same costume until you change its costume in the program for the clone. If that makes sense, oh, grab the wrong one. We want it to show. Um, so then repeat until. And then for these, and then at the bottom of that, put delete this clone. So um, now repeat until, um, so repeat until the, um, sorry, repeat until it's touching the edge, which you can find under touching mouse pointer block. So now if it's touching the edge, it will delete um, the clone. So now um, just put in a movement thing so it will just point in the direction of the move. So now you can shoot little projectiles. So now let's make a target that moves around. So um, first let's make a circle. Um, I'm just going to make this in vector, so like maybe 30. Then let's make a smaller white one.
And then let's make a smaller red one. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. You'll see I'm drawing really bad because I can't draw. So, don't bother me about that. Um, not letting me draw. Okay. Instead, we're going to make this the center. Um, there we go, and let's just convert it to bitmap so it's nice and pixelated like the rest of it. Then make a white dot in the center. Right. Let's just set it back to to full saturation for when we draw later. So now, let's get a, something from here. Um, let's send both programs to this because it's also going to be cloning. So it's easier just to modify these programs. So um, so first under this, get rid of the if mouse down and instead um, make a delay for how long you want it to, for targets to show up. So every two seconds a target will show up on screen. Maybe one. Um, I'm going to leave it at one for now. Um, so when I start as one uh, or clone, not one, um, go to the go to a random position and then instead of pointing to direction, the direction of that sprite, we want it to point in, the, in a random direction. So go to operators, get a pick random for, um, between these two numbers, and then put 0 to 360 so it can point in any direction. Um, and then um, it will repeat forever. It will repeat forever, um, move 10 steps. Add an if on edge bounce. And then get another if statement from down here. Put the delete this clone program in there. Get rid of this. Then if touching color. And make this color the color of whatever you decided. Um, this is the color of the laser. So if it's touching the same color as this. Um, laser, then it will do that. And let's go ahead and set the size down a little bit. Um, maybe a little bigger, 50%. Okay. And now let's make it move less steps so it's easier to hit. So now we have little flying targets. Um, now let's add a score meter and maybe make them show up a little faster. So um, get a ver make a variable, call it score. So on flag, set score to zero. Make sure it's score, not my variable. Let's just delete this. So now if um, if it's touching the color red, it will change the score by one and then delete the clone. And let's say wait 0 0.5 seconds, so every half a second one will show up. And make maybe let's make it a little little bigger. Um, that's all for this tutorial. I will probably be making a follow up video that will make more interesting. Uh, a more interesting game out of this, but that's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one.